Okay, welcome to the Camp Wounded Dog Workshop. Uh, I screwed up. A fellow sent me a font to be uh, sealed, to be casual sealed because it had a little crack in it. But inside the box there was no note as to what the work to be done was. It was sitting on my shelf for a couple months. I took it down I thought, okay, I'm going to plate this rascal. So I stripped off the finish and I, I got down to the brass and I thought, wow, this is the prettiest bare brass I have ever seen. I'm going to love plating this guy. Except I noticed a little hairline crack. So I, I messaged him and I said, hey, I'm going to have to seal your font after I plate it because there's a crack in it. And he replied, what? I just wanted it sealed. I didn't want it plated. Too late. I had stripped off the original finish, which was in incredibly good shape. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a piece of a lantern of similar vintage over to my paint shop, have them put the chip under the spectroscope, and mix up some paint that will be the exact same color. So I went to my local True Value hardware store, took my little piece of Coleman lantern in, and with their XO Rust, this is uh, very, very similar to Rust-Oleum, only it's the uh, True Value brand name. Uh, it's just as sturdy, just as bulletproof. They mixed up for me, I don't even see that, Coleman Green XO Rust. Now you can't just brush it on because that would look like, you know, it'd just be terrible. It'd look like a third grade art project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it on. Now I could have fired up my compressor, got out an airbrush and all that, but I just wanted to do it this way to give guys an idea uh, how they can do it at home without getting really involved. There's a gadget called a Prevail Amazing Spray System. And you can get this also at your True Value hardware store. This, this setup costs six bucks, which is a real steal. What it is, is a little aerosol can and a bottle. You mix your paint, put it in the bottle, and you, and you got a, it's just like a rattle can. It sprays just like a rattle can. Now the deal is, the XO is so thick it won't spray. So you got to cut it back. And what you use is a regular VMP naphtha, which is a paint thinner, a fast drying paint thinner. You keep adding a little bit at a time until your viscosity is thin enough so this will spray without shooting glops. So do some test spraying before you try to spray your font. Um, this particular font has two coats of uh, XO primer on it uh, fired in the, in the oven uh, at 175 degrees for three hours to harden it. And then I, I soap sanded it with 5 ot steel wool. That's right, not 4, but 5 ot steel wool which is just about as fine as the stuff you use to wipe a baby's butt um, with a little bit of soap to make it slippery and what that basically does is knocks off any nurdles and breaks the shine so you got a real good tooth. So I'm going to spray this guy for you. Now I haven't used a Prevail sprayer for about 30 years so <laughs> we'll see how this goes and I think it's going to be okay. So once you get your uh, viscosity correct you just spray over your font you do a real light mist coat first and that just gives your heavier coat some tooth now you let that kinda of set up for a little while not long, I'm, I, you know, I'm talking like a minute or two. And then you come back and you mist over it with a heavier coat. And this is your color coat. This you want to just about cover everything. Now you can also do this with a rattle can and uh, the Rust-Oleum Hunter Green is pretty close, but 
The problem with this job is my guy has a 228 and a 220 same month that match. So I got to, and he wanted a matching pair. So I got to have the color on this just right on. Now when you're spraying this, of course you want to stay far enough away so you're misting it and not just shooting big gobs on because you don't want this to run. You want it to hang in there until you got a good coverage. Now fortunately, this guy doesn't have a decal, so I don't have to go nuts with a vinyl decal instead of a water slip. And there we go. Now that's going to, oh, 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 more right there. That's going to flow just a tiny bit. The naphtha, thinner, hastens the drying time on your exo enamel. So uh, it's not going to take like eight hours like Rust Oleum takes to dry. Now I'm just checking now to make sure that I got a uh, uniform shine all over. Now right here around that I got I got to give it a little more. I don't want to put too much in though because I don't want it to run. All right, there we go. We got a nice even coat, and I'm going to let this air dry for about an hour and a half, two hours, and I'm going to stick it in the oven again, about 150 degrees for three or four hours. After that's done. This is going to have a real bright brand new look to it, which won't match his other 220. So again, I'm going to go over this very carefully with 5 watt steel wool, and that will break the shine but it won't remove the color. And then I'm going to wax it with a carnauba, and that will duplicate the exact finish of a 70 year old uh, green Coleman. So that's it. Again. Your spray system is a Prevail spraying system. I like the EXO. They can mix the color. Uh, if you don't want to take a chip in to have it mixed, message me and I'll, I'll send you the... Uh, I better write that off. I'll send you the mixed formula so they'll know how much of what to put in there. Um, it's not a hard thing to do. If you're not an accomplished spray can guy, don't be afraid to spray up a bunch of cardboard just to get the feel of how that works. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for stopping in Camp Wound Dog Workshop. I hope uh, all you folks have a real Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. And if you're a Santa Claus believer, I hope he brings you uh, lanterns and good stuff down your chimney. Otherwise, I hope you get a big cash bonus from the boss so you can buy stuff. All right, thanks again. I love you guys. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.